Oh, oh. Ah, oh, that's so satisfying. Really? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Hey y'all, it's been a while. Hopefully I remember how to do this whole filming thing and look at the lens and not the camera screen that's off to the side that I should have closed before I started filming. <laughs> so I stole Joss's camera for a little bit and I'm gonna get out and do some detecting and I'm gonna film it for a change. It's been quite some time. So let's get to it. We're gonna be looking for some Civil War three ringers, colonial relics, colonial coins, anything uh, similar to what I've been finding in this location. And um, see you in a bit. Hopefully we can pop out a few good targets and make it a worthwhile video. It's not all glitz and glamor. So far I've been digging nothing but can slaw, but I got one here. It's coming in like 17, 18, 19. But it's sticking around that 18 mark, which is where the three ringers have been coming in. So we're going to dig this one together. And I believe it's right about there where my foot is. So I'm going to grab my shovel. Do this one-handed. It's been a while. Ooh, ah. And then what we'll do is we'll go over the hole with the machine and the pile and see if we still get a good signal. Yep, and the numbers haven't really changed and it's out of the hole. So it's still a solid 18, 17. So that's a really good sign. That could be a three ringer. Let's find out. Oh, 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 I see it. Do you see it? I see it. I see it. Ooh, look at that beautiful shiny white lid. So pretty. Oh, look at that. 150 plus year old Civil War bullet. Now that just gets your day going. I've been here about, I don't know, 15 minutes. But I've been digging Canslaw. This was the first really good signal and I'm glad you guys dug it live with me. It's going to be a good afternoon. I, I got a good feeling. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Unreal. I just filled in my hole right there. And now we're right here. And we're getting 17, 18, 17, 18, 19. But it's pretty consistent. That's, that's totally diggable. And I'm going to wager a guess that that is another Civil War three ringer. I could be wrong. It could be trash. The steel cans in here, they, um, the chunks of steel cans seem to want to come up like that as well. So I can't say for sure that it's going to be, um, that it's going to be a three ringer yet, but let's, let's find out. Where yet? All right, so if your pinpointer is giving you a hard time, one of the things you can do is turn it back off, hold it to the ground and turn it on and it should balance to the ground. All right, my target's down in the hole. So let's see what we can see. Baby. Let's move a little dirt at a time. Just a little bit. No, just kidding. Ooh, I see it. I just definitely probably hit it with the digger a little. But there she is. Do do do. 
so cool. Like my hand shakes when I dig these still. I mean, yeah, they're just bullets, but you know, some relic hunters, they don't think much of them. But honestly, this little site here, it's very possible. I have, I don't have confirmation yet, but it's very possible that this is a campsite that that they've been they've written about but didn't know exactly where it was and I could have found it it's possible I'm working on it I'll get back to you on that let's go find some more of these let's see if we can move like six more inches and find three more it's not gonna happen but we'll give it a shot see you in a bit all right there was the first one there's the one I haven't even filled in yet and I was because I was checking the hole with my machine and I came back a little bit and I got another signal right here so what we're going to do is, before I fill that one in, I'm going to see what this is. Now the numbers on this were bouncing from like 15 to 19, but there could be iron in there messing with it because there is a lot of iron and trash in this field. So let's see what we can see. So it's going to be like three in a row in like a two foot square section. That would be awesome because I haven't had a day like that over here in God knows how long. They've been pretty sparse lately. So we're still in the hole. All right, I'll shut that off. That's annoying. What do we got? And there is a lot of charcoal out in this field. There was some sort of like coal depot. Yeah, see, this is just going to be trash, but that's all right. That's that's that steel can junk I was talking about. That one might be aluminum, but still, can junk. It's here. So, can junk, bullet, bullet. But there's got to be more bullets out here. So, all right, I'll get back to you on the next one. Hopefully, get one close. See you in a bit. All right, it's been a hot minute since I've actually dug anything good. Um, I got a signal here. It keeps pinging around 31, 32. It's one of those too good to be true signals. Um, it, it's repeatable. It sounds good to me. Um, so let's take a peek and we'll jinx it with a live dig together because it'll probably just be a can. <laughs> so let's take a peek and see what we got going on here. So... This keeps hitting right around 33, 34, 35. So we're going to take a chance on this. And it looks like it's going to be a good target. And I had already kind of pinpointed it before I started filming. So let's, uh, let's pop this bad boy out together. Let's find the can. <laughs> I don't want to do too much with my shovel in case it is a good coin or something. So I'll flip that out and that. And I'm gonna flip this one out. Flip this one out. And I'm gonna grab a pointer. Oop. Put something in there. Oop, it's in here. It's in this clump. All right, let's break apart this clump. Oh, I see it. Do you see it? I see it. Oh, oh. Oh, that's so satisfying. It's a large scent. Yep, definitely a large scent. There we go. Watch this everybody off. Yeehaw! Don't do this. You're not supposed to do this. I do it because it's my coin and I want to see what date it is. 18... Man, I'm gonna have to wipe it off a little better when I get home, but it's definitely a large scent. It was one of those too good to be true signals that turned out to be true. So um, I'm in a part of the field now where I was finding coppers and colonial flat buttons and things of this sort. So I'm going to slow down. I'm going to start spiraling out from this and um, see what else we can come across. Hopefully we get some more good targets. 
that's that's awesome right there. I'm happy. And uh, glad you guys were along for this dig too. Let's see if we can go find some more goodies. See you in a bit. It's not anything really special. It's just a modern 22 bullet. Um, but I want to tell you guys that these ring in right around a 9 or a 10 on the machine. Now, the tone is going to sound a little low, even if they're shallow, because they're small. Um, you know, really, it just depends on your mood if you want to dig 9s and 10s. Out here, I'm going to, I'm digging anything 10 and up. Um, and most of it's trash, but, but it's something you're going to get but these 22s right around a 9 or a 10 on the equinox um they sound deep but they're usually pretty shallow so don't don't go crazy looking for for a 9 or a 10 try to try to look shallow so all right we'll see if we get anything actually good this one's a <laughs> see you in a bit uh, i'm going to take this opportunity to enjoy this really nice weather and do a wrap up with you on the stuff that you saw doug in this video and I'm also going to go over pretty much everything I've pulled out of this field in the last probably year or so. It's been a long time since I've put out a video and you guys haven't really been able to follow along at all the stuff that I've found here. Um, but we'll talk about it today. So let's get to it. Ta-da! There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> these are all three ringers all drops um, except for one fired and one carved has come out of this field the only other real military ID piece of brass is this J-hook everything else has been more civilian um, we've got coppers we've got Indian heads we've got wheat pennies we've got couple flying eagles um, now like this one's 1863 so that's period the flying eagles would have been period um, 1850 something large scent that would have been period even some of these flat buttons um, I was always kind of curious we've gotten several cuff links out of the field I've got a bunch up there these two actually match this one still has the little ringy dealy on the back um, this is a larger style size cuff link that one's got some fancy on it. Um, this little silver ring I actually found was all smushed and mashed and ugly looking. Um, but uh, I was able to get a jeweler to re-round it and he did a repair on it for me. So. Oh, there we go. Focus is working a little better. It's still focusing on my finger. There we go. So yeah, so it's actually marked sterling on the inside and um, he re-rounded it and fixed it and repaired it. You'll see a little weld spot right there, which is fine. It's a dug ring. Um, but yeah, lots of buttons, lots of flat buttons. We got a couple little flower buttons. I'm not sure. Um, see, this site, what we're looking at is the possibility of one union group that would have been in there or the possibility of one of two confederate units that came through and they were um they were on their way to carlisle to shell and raid carlisle um it was jeb stewart's cavalry and then the, he did have infantry with him some of these guys are swedged which means they were machine made and then a lot of them are um just regular cast three ringers but I like these swedged ones. These are kind of cool. Because you can tell these the difference of these right away. Like when you dig this bullet versus this bullet. Let's see, that one's that one's not swedged. This one's got some some massive rings to it, like ribbing, and the head looks a little different on it. Um, and then when you flip it over, you obviously see one's got the marks from the, the machine and the other one doesn't. But this has been a lot of fun. Um, I'm working with a local guy who does Civil War history books for the area, for York County and, and Cumberland County area. Um, so we're going to go over this. This is cool. This is actually, this is silver. This is the butt end of a pistol, um, uh, musket pistol handle. So I'm, I'm thinking this is definitely much older than Civil War period. Uh, one of the guys could have had it and it could have got busted, broken, whatever but that's that's pretty exciting uh, let's see 
just the amount of different buttons has been a lot of fun too. I like all these different funky, funky designs on them. Nothing on the big ones, unfortunately. Got a little rosette. But this has been uh, this has been a good field to me. We got a little bit of silver out of there, a little more modern silver than Civil War period, but that's okay. Um, we got some KG2 going on. Um, and I think I've got a couple more pieces upstairs that I didn't make into this frame yet. But for the most part, this is the good majority of it. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to do my best to get out there and get you some more videos. I will uh, try to be better about it, try to get some, some more time to do it. It's just a, it's just a real major time factor for me. Um, we're really busy with the crazy lamp lady and our business and we're still focused on metal detecting but just trying to figure out when's a good time to squeeze it in so but i promise we'll do some more videos this year we've got some big plans for detecting this year and um i'm really looking forward to it got a lot of events i'm going to and hunts so i look forward to seeing you guys out there i want to see what you guys have found i want to talk to you about it um so make sure if you're at a hunt or an event that i'm at come up and talk to me i'm looking forward to it I'll see you guys later.